we have been called niggas. Yeah. We've been called Negroes, right. darkies, right. all different names outside of our God-given holy name. Y'all yeah. sisters are the greatest sisters that walk this planet Earth. That's but right. we've never been taught that in history. Teach. Our people on the block don't even teach each other who we are. Right. That's why every single day we kill each other. We sell drugs to each other. Right. But let's see what God calls us in the Bible. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Read it out. For thou art in holy people. What's the name, brother? Harris? Harrison. Harrison. Yeah. All right. Harrison. What's that name, sisters? Y'all want to come close if y'all can? Oh, y'all in the salon. All right. I got you. I got you. All right. So the Bible says you guys are holy people. God right. says that. Read on. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. It says God, it says the Lord thy God has chosen us to be a special people unto himself. Right. Read right. on. Above all people. Are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans above all people? Right up. When you look at the news, when you look at George Floyd, when you look at Mike Brown, right, right. when you look at Trayvon Martin, right right up. when you look at all these different names, do we look like we're above all people? No. It don't seem that way. Right. But God says we are what? Above all people. Uh-huh. That are upon the face of the earth. But yet, we go out and march for equality. Right. right. Equality is Teach. not what God wants for his chosen people. Right. That's right. His chosen people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you standing here today, y'all sisters standing here today, you are God's chosen people. He said, I don't want y'all to be equal with the other nations. Right. That's what the Bible says. Read on. Teach. The Lord, the, the Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people. Uh -huh. For ye were the fewest of all people. But read on. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn to your fathers. Because when you read in the Bible about our forefathers, like Moses, right. who was a black man, right. Right. that was the forefather of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. That's right. You guys have been given laws and commandments way back in history right. from right. God himself. God chose us and he loved us and he sent us to be above all people on the earth. Right. Right. But when you look at us today, the question is to say, well, why do we live in the lowest communities of the whole town? We are in Florence, South Carolina, but yet the blacks fill up North Florence. Yeah. Why do we fill the ghettos with the projects, 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 side by side, and only we are the ones who live in it? If we are the greatest, why don't we live in the nicest parts of town? Every major city, New York, Detroit, Chicago, L.A., the blacks, Hispanics are at the bottom. That's right. Why are we at the bottom? Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Yeah. Do you know why we're at the bottom? Oh. Uh, Esau, Jacob. That's why they call it racism today. Because of racism, that's what you say? Esau and Jacob. It's, hey, it's biblical. My sisters, can I ask y'all a question? The question is, why are we at the bottom of society? Do y'all know? Yeah. Y'all have an answer for that? Okay, that's fine. We're going to read it. We're going to read it. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Read it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. So Moses was talking to us, our forefathers, way back in the wilderness. He says, what's going to happen to our people in 2020, he says, if you don't listen to the commandments that God gave you, What's going to happen? And his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses yeah. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. My sisters, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? We know. Yeah, it's a bad thing. Real bad. Right? Bad thing, yo. Did you know that us living in the ghettos is actually a curse that God put on us for years? We know. Yeah. Let's read that in the Bible. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. Read on. And curse shall thou be in the field. So in the city of Florence, South Carolina, the so-called blacks, natives, and Hispanics will be a cursed people as a whole. Right. That's right. Have you noticed that they're gentrifying Florence? Right. You notice that? Why? Look, they're building up downtown. 
the building up the Florence Mall, Magnolia Mall. They got white folk living in my mama's house. Bring it out. And they're pushing all of the black people where? Right here. Right here. Yeah. To Florence. Read that again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Bring it out. Cursed shall I be in the city. And cursed shall I be in the field. Even our great grandparents that were in the cotton fields. They were cursed living in them fields. Yeah. Right. We got up early in the morning. Right. And we worked until we dropped. Yeah. Right. Even our children in the fields. Right. That's a curse to our people. That's right. Right. If we are the greatest people on the earth, like God told us in his Bible, then why do we live on these conditions? Right. Yeah. That's because we broke the commandments. Right. That's what it's always been about. That's what it yeah. always will be about. Right. You understand? Yeah. So you know that we are Israel. Yeah. I got a question for you. What now? What now? What now? You've been doing your research, you've been watching videos, all praises to the Most High. Yeah. Now the question is, what do I do from this point on? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's keep on teaching. Keep on teaching. Keep on teaching the word. This is, uh, this is, uh... I got you. I, yeah. I got you. Yes, keep on. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to see if you understand what we've been reading so far. It's, this is the truth. Yeah. Right. Matter of fact, give me John 8.32. Bring it up. Watch what the Bible says about that. Read on. You know, because the reason why the curses, which is a bad thing, are happening to our people, even in 2020, and it will happen next year too. It's gonna happen again. Tell me this. The wait, one second. The reason why it's happening is because we have lost the truth. Right. That's right. I'm telling you. Well, watch this. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Read it out. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So God says you shall know the truth, and when you know that truth, that's when you're going to be free. Right. Yeah. We're not going to be free without it. That's We're not going to be free by collecting money. That's oh, right. no. We're not going to be free by getting arms and uh, guns and weapons. That's not going to make us nope. free. Right. What's going to make us free is the truth. Right. What is the truth? You know the Psalms. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Yeah. Says, you understand so far, right? We're not going anything too deep. Okay. Watch what the Bible says about the truth that we're supposed to know as a people. You too, listen. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Thy what? Thy law is the truth. It says, you blacks and Hispanics, men and women, the law of God is the truth that will set us free from the communities we live in. Yeah, that's right. right. What will set us free from no fathers in the household. Right, right. That will set us free from black on black crime. Right. Drug addiction. Right. You know, that's what's going to set us free. The right. laws of God. Right. Because there's a law that tells us not to commit adultery. Right, right. There's laws in the Bible that tell us not to go and follow gangbangers. Right, right. Once you find out your nationality, who you truly are, your heritage, then you can connect the dots when you read the Bible. Bring it because the Bible is not a white man's book. Right, right. White man didn't write the Bible. That's right. a lie. Right. The Bible our forefathers wrote. Right. Inspired by the hand of God. That's right. right. Black men. Black men. That's our book, our history, our records, That's right. our heritage, right. our culture, how we eat, how we dress. Right. That's all in the Bible. Right. Right. But watch what happened to our people. Read Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. Read it out. The ox knoweth his owner. It says the ox, which is a very, very dumb animal. Right. God says even that animal knows who he belongs to. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. The ass of every stubborn animal, the donkey. You can take that animal from here all the way down the block and leave him, and he'll find his way right back home. Right, That's right. He knows who he belongs to. Right. But watch this. But Israel. But you black people, you Hispanic people, you Native American people. Yeah. What? Don't I know? It says y'all don't know who y'all are. Right. That's right. Y'all don't know who y'all are. Bring it up. We bro. have never known who we were. Teach. Read. My people do not consider. God says, my people right. do not even consider. That's why I said it was a good thing for this brother to start actually watching the videos. He actually knows who. When we, the moment we showed up, he said, Israelites. Yes, sir. Teach. You don't learn that in the church. Right. right. No, you don't. Bring it out. You can be in the Christian church for years. Uh, you will read about the Israelites. But you won't know that that's you. Right. 
You want to know that's oh that's who I that, that's me. That's my family. Right. My forefathers. Right. Hey. The reason why that's important is because you see the mistakes that our parents have made, and then you can know how to fix it. Right. Yeah. Bring it Read on. Watch this. The ox knows his owner. The ox knows his owner. Read. <laughs> and he has his master's crib. He has his master's crib. They know who they are. Read. But Israel. Like that sister that walked by. Right. Like the brother that just walked by. Read. Right. Does not know. He said we black. Right. That speaker is black. Right. My yeah. pants are black. Right. My skin is not the same color. Right. That's yeah. not my land. I don't know a land called black. That's right. right. I don't go to a country called black. Right. Right. Read on. My people do not consider. They don't consider because when I ask them, they walk right by. That's right. That's, right. That's been going on for years. Bring it up. My oh, sister, man. you standing there, that's a beautiful thing. I know you're waiting on your appointment, but because you're standing and listening, you're getting some information. That's right. good. That's right. That's good, up. brother. What's your question? Uh, I'm to put me a I want to read that. It's about the house of rebellion and the wheel. All right, I got you, but I'm going to read something else first. I want you to go to Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Because you know. now that you know that you are an Israelite, yes, I am. the question I asked you is, first of all, what tribe are you from? Look at this sign. Teach! Look at this uh, sign. What did daddy say I was half Indian? Your dad says you was half... What, what race is your father? He's black. He's black. Yeah. Okay, so it's said to say that you are the tribe of Judah. Well, that's so right. You are from the Americas, American black people that came on the slave ships. You are safe to say it's from the tribe of Judah. That's right. right. Sister, you're probably from the tribe of Judah. You know who else in the Bible is from Judah? Get up. Jesus Christ. That's, that's right. right. The black Messiah. That's right. That's our father. His blood is going through your veins that's and yours. Right. Right. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Oh. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? It says, what does God require of us? Because now that we know that we are the children of Israel, right. what does God want us to do after knowing that? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. We have never learned how to fear God. Right. Fear God, meaning to fear the judgments that come from breaking his laws. That's right. Right. We say, oh, I fear the Lord. I, fear, I, I respect the Lord. That's not what fear of the Lord is. Fearing God, y'all, did y'all see that storm that just came through here? Yep. Bring it out. Rock the house. That was just lightning and thunder. That was light work. Yeah, it was loud. Fearing God is fearing the judgments that he can bring. Right. For breaking his commandments. That's right. We don't know how to fear God because we've never understood that that was our God in the first place. Right. We've never understood that the things that are happening to our people are prophetic because we broke his laws. Right. Once we understand that, sis, then we can understand, oh, I'm not playing around with no with no soft man up there in that sky. Right, right. Oh, that's God. That's the most high God. Right. Oh, he got the power to do X, Y, Z. I didn't know he could do that. Give me Deuteronomy 32, 39. Right. How y'all doing today? Hey, come close. Real quick. Y'all got time. Y'all got time. Come on. Hey, y'all, check this out. Did y'all know that God kills? You didn't know that, right? You thought that was the devil doing that? Bring it out, bring it out. Watch this. Read what the Bible says. Watch this, sis. This is how you understand how to fear God. This is how you fear God, because your God, your God, your God, your God is a black God. That's right. Not what they show us in the pictures. Right. He ain't white with stringy hair. Right. A black guy with woolly hair, dark. Right. That's our people. But watch what this God can do. I'm going to ask y'all questions after this. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. Read really? See now that I, even I, and he. Whatever we about to read next, this is what God is saying he will do. Read. And there is no God with me. Uh-huh. I kill. I do what? I kill. I do what? I kill. God says, I am the one who kill. Right. Whenever someone dies, God is in charge of that. Right. That's how we fear God. Right. If I know that God is the one that's doing all the killing, my job is to say, let me do something that's not going to be, well, I'm not going to be next. Teach. Let me not do something to where I'm not the next person that God kills. Right. Right. That's fear God. Read on. And I make alive. God says, I also make alive. God brings life into this earth. Read. Right. I wound. He got, God also wounds. God will hurt you so bad Teach. to the point where all you have to do is pray. Right. That's right. God yeah. does that. God does that for breaking his commandments. Read. Right. And I heal. God says, I also heal. So the, the side you want to be on is God's good side. Right. You want to be on this good side.
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.